Welcome to the Ticket Demo Series. In today's presentation, we're going to work through and highlight how a agent uh, can work on a ticket that's been created in Teams, uh, modify that ticket, um, and also send messages directly to the requester of that ticket, the end user that submitted the actual ticket, and be able to have a conversation through the ticket back and forth. So on the left-hand side here, we have Adele. Uh, she is my end user in the business. Um, and on the right-hand side here, we have Diego. He is my, my agent in the business, and he's going to be receiving requests from the business. In a previous presentation, um, Adele pinged Diego and let him know that her computer's running slow, and now Diego's going to work on my ticket. That ticket was created and sent over to the service desk channel, and here you see it. It's ticket 1510. Now, Diego has the ability to work on this ticket in Teams. He can do it in the web as well, but he can do it in Teams. And if you were to do it in Teams, uh, there's a couple things he can do here. Uh, so if you wanted to modify this ticket, uh, my computer is running slow is sometimes a desktop issue. So he can, he can escalate that ticket. And what we'll do here is we'll reassign this ticket from the service desk group uh, to the desktop group. Um, and when this gets reassigned, we'll see the reassignment happen to the desktop group. We'll also see uh, this ticket is ripped out of the service desk channel and dropped into the desktop channel. Because in Teams, for us, we are associating uh, groups uh, to channels. So here, ticket uh, 15 is now uh, assigned to the desktop group. Um, I skipped over it, but also on the right-hand side, you saw a notification to the desktop team, letting them know that there's a new ticket that's been reassigned to that group um, through a Teams notification. Now, also um, on a ticket within Teams, I can take that ticket. And that means I'm assigning that ticket directly to, to Diego. Um, and what that does for me as an agent is it elevates um, my visibility to the ticket. I can now see that ticket directly because it's assigned to me. Um, but I also will receive notifications within the ticket app um, whenever an update is made to that ticket that I didn't make. So if Adele were to update the ticket and ask a question or another agent were to update the ticket, I will see that uh, direct notification, which we'll highlight um, here in a few minutes. Uh, now, her issue is still ongoing. Her computer is running slow. so. Diego also has the ability uh, in Teams to be able to send a direct message to Adele, but we're going to do it in the context of the ticket. It's going to be audited by the ticket. Uh, so we'll send that message over to Adele and we'll say, uh, uh, to give her a tip on how to maybe solve her problem, please try to boot your computer. The answer to all solutions. Now, what you'll see here is um, the message here will be added to the activity stream, so it'll be updated. And then Adele will receive a notification on her side letting her there's something new about a ticket she's created that she needs to go take a look at. Uh, so we will now switch to Adele's side so she can we can highlight what she's feeling and seeing um, as this ticket is traveling um, on the agent side. So Diego can work in teams and channels, which is what we're working on if, and for the tickets, as well as he can work in the ticket app. Um, Adele can uh, well, Adele and all end users will work inside of Ticket Virtual Agent. That's going to be their home. Um, and in this particular presentation, we're going to highlight how Adele will receive notifications in Ticket Virtual Agent. So if I go over Ticket Virtual Agent, um, Ticket 1510 was created, and we'll see a few notifications for that. So here, uh, this is the create notification. So we've created this ticket, and we made Adele aware of it. Uh, we also have reassigned this ticket. Um, so when we assigned this ticket to Diego, she was made aware. Made aware, and a new comment's been added. Um, and this is when Adele, sorry, Diego, sent a message over to Adele, letting her know to try something. So let's say that uh, Adele did try to reboot her computer and it worked. Um, she can now do the same thing Diego did. She can send a message to uh, Diego through the ticket, and it's audited by the ticket. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, Now, when we send this over, you'll see the same experience. Adele will message will be appended to the activity stream. You'll see the ticket itself refresh inside of the IT desktop channel because we're going to update uh, the ticket with that information. Uh, and then also you'll see Diego himself got a notification because he is an agent that's assigned to this ticket. Um, and we're making him directly aware of that through a notification in the ticket app. So uh, the ticket app, uh, you'll see here that a new comment's been added. Um, and we'll see that Adele made that comment. 
Now, quick small detour here. Diego also has the ability to access this ticket on the agent side. So if he wanted to access this ticket and um, see things like all the tickets assigned to him, he can type show me my work and that will show him a list of all the tickets assigned to him. He can even say open ticket 1510 and he'll get direct access to that ticket. Uh, he can have a conversation with ticket and, and be able to receive, retrieve tickets, go open those tickets and modify those tickets. Now Adele made us aware that her issue was resolved. So we'll go ahead and resolve this ticket and we'll do this in Teams. Again, you can do this in the web, but uh, we're focusing in Teams for this particular presentation. So we'll resolve that ticket. And when we do, what you'll see here is a couple of things. Um, one, uh, the ticket's now resolved. And on the left-hand side here, you're gonna see um, a default experience for us. This is the satisfaction survey experience. So Adele's made aware that the ticket's been resolved. We're now asking her as well uh, if she was satisfied with the level of service. Uh, if she was not, she could say no and it'll reopen the ticket. If she was satisfied with the level of service, she can say yes. Uh, she'll then get a satisfaction survey um, from the system. Um, and we'll say positive. And these results will be updated for um, the agents and, and admins to report on the system here. Uh, so again, uh, this presentation as a recap was to highlight how an agent can work on a ticket, modify a ticket, route it, and have a conversation with Adele um, all the way through the resolution of the ticket within Teams specifically. Uh, thank you for watching today's presentation. If you have any other questions, please email team at ticket.ai.